Hi, my name's Tony and I'm from The Sup Company and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the all-new Starboard 12'6 Touring Zen. So here we are with Starboard's most popular inflatable paddleboard, the Starboard 12 foot 6 Touring Zen. And there's a couple of key reasons as to why this board is just so popular for Starboard and ourselves here at the SUP company. And the first thing really is, well, performance. This board accomplishes a lot in terms of a touring shape. It is stable, it is efficient, and it is just really, really rewarding to paddle as a result. The other key factor into the popularity of this board is, well, it's the price point. And it's not just the board, it's the package as a whole that represents exceptional value for money. It comes with a really high quality um, board bag that's made from recycled plastic bottles, tying into Starboard's famous, uh, if you like, environmental ethos and how they're trying to look after the planet, as well as get people on the water and out there enjoying the outside. The other thing with the package though is the paddle and well it's a paddle sport stand-up paddle boarding so why are we surprised that a paddle has such a huge impact in terms of our overall experience on the water and the paddle that comes with the package as standard here is the starboard tough skin lemur paddle that is uh, utilizing a composite carbon glass fiber shaft on a very very rigid yet well designed um, tough skin blade which is an ABS plastic which is exceptionally hard wearing but it does deliver really good performance in a paddle. The paddle on its own in its own right actually retails at £335 and when you then consider that the entire package is just £649 well it represents exceptional value for money. But look let's take you through the board as um, from the nose down to the tail as we do in all of our videos. So the nose of the Starboard 12 foot 6 Touring Zen fills out to its overall width of 30 inches wide very early on. And that then leads back down to the tail and it carries its width pretty much all the way. And that parallel outline that Starboard have designed into the 12 foot 6 Touring Zen, well, it makes the board really, really rewarding to paddle. It's stable yet not sticky it just wants to glide and as a result bang for buck you get a huge amount of value in this overall package the nose though of the board carries a single fcs mount so if you're looking to fit a all-round white light or perhaps an action sports camera or something along those lines you've got that option on the nose of the board here the bungee area on front, yeah, it's simple, it's clean, it's gonna allow you to distribute kit around the board really evenly, but it's nice because it ties into the overall aesthetic of the board. And really, it's the deck pad that we then come to that gives this board the overall look and feel of a board, to be honest with you, of a much, much higher price point. The overall aesthetic, the way they've cut up the deck pad to incorporate these different colorways, it's a really attractive looking board. Underfoot though, the deck pad, yeah, do you know what? It's pretty comfortable. Simple diamond cut deck pad with a crocodile skin finish. Sheds water really easily. Comfortable underfoot. Really not, not much more to say about it. It's just very simple yet very, very effective. The carry handles on the board, there's one here on the center and also another there on the tail. Very simple, just a fabric handle with Starboard's branding embroidered onto it. Nice quality finish, quite simple though. They do fold down flat, which is a nice touch. So they just stay out of the way of the board. But if you are gonna carry it for a period of time down to the water's edge, you'll probably find yourself changing hands from time to time because it's just gonna start to eat into your hand a little bit but Starboard have included these two stainless D-rings into the um, Starboard rail of the board, and that allows you to fit a shoulder strap if you'd like, and that's just gonna allow you to take any additional pressure from the board in terms of carrying it off of your hand and placing it onto your shoulder, making it that little bit more comfortable to carry down to the water's edge. A really nice touch, particularly on a board of this price point, is this aft bungee arrangement. 
allows you to distribute kit very evenly across the board if you are looking at spending uh, extended times on the board and covering distance or perhaps overnighting as well it's a really nice feature finally though the deck pad rounds out in a kick pad which again on a board of this price point we don't tend to see so really credit to starboard for including that on this board it's a really nice feature stops you from running off the back just give you an indication that you are that far down the board if you are starting to engage the tail and looking to um, improve upon your mark rounding skills but underfoot once you are on the tail because of the board's relatively wide tail in terms of its width as its outline it's really stable so you can actually grow in confidence very very quickly but i would probably recommend removing the bungee so you're just not going to trip over that as you start to work your way down to the tail the tail of the board though finishes out with the valve reminding us there that we are inflating it between 15 to 18 psi so we're getting the board as rigid as possible on the foot and then we've also got a really nice d-ring for the leash also but look let's take the board now and just roll it up onto its rail and you can see just that overall parallel outline now and just how striking it is to paddle the board just wants to track it's really really rewarding this is without a doubt starboard's most popular shape for good reason because of the overall performance of this board the nose though has a stainless steel d-ring so if you are looking to secure it either on the back of a boat or kind of tying it onto a riverbank you've got that option on here but a nice clean aesthetic running all the way down towards the fin box it's a us fin box comes with a great starboard fin made from recycled plastic so recycled fishing nets and just again tying into starboard's overall environmental ethos and how they're looking out for the planet just one paddle board at a time so look if you are out there looking for a very very capable yet rewarding inflatable paddleboard to go and cover distance with with ease at an exceptional price point well you have to genuinely take a really good hard look at the starboard 12 foot 6 touring zen thanks for watching our video if you've got any questions about what you've seen why not give us a call in the shop or head over to the subco.com to stay up to date with our next video, well, why not hit the subscribe button up here? But if you want to see the next video in our series, well, take a look up here.